Okay. Right. This is Bobcast. You know how long a beard is? Buffalo Brotherhood. We're going to get in here and we're going to. We know you're going to eat it, sir. We know. Facebook.com. Uh, it was cutting in and out a little bit, but I think that's the end of it. This is episode 32 of the Bobcast. This is a Buffalo Brotherhood's weekly podcast. I'm Ryan, and alongside me as always is... Mike. And beside him is... Doug. What do you mean it was cutting out? Like, it, like I don't know. Maybe Doug can explain in a second. But this is episode 132 of our weekly podcast. Uh, thank you much for being with us. Uh, and again, this week we are doing it a little bit differently than before, as in we are uh, not together in the same room, but we are together in spirit. Uh, this week we are also playing another video game as we do the podcast, and this week's game is... Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Golf with friends. Yeah, thank you. Well, it wasn't coming up. It's still not coming up on my screen yet. Um, okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, we're talking. i got a black screen. Okay, so uh, excited to be here this week. I'm glad everybody can be with us as I frantically try to fix my uh, video game capture. So as we're playing, we're going to talk about because I read a book! <laughs> yes, Mike read a book. And I'm working on my second book, and I want to read five this year. I'm doing really good, and I'm super proud of myself. Okay, so we were just doing losing that. weight, reading books. I'm trimming my that. beard. So we're gonna read from the Art of Manliness.com. A hundred books every man should read because we did another one on another show, and it wasn't a good list. Is, uh, I hope they served beer in hell on that list. I don't know. We have a hundred books to make it through, so. Okay, well, uh, we are ready to go. I've updated the stream information, I'm recording, and I can have screen capture now, so. Perfect. The first book is The Great Gatsby. The Great Reddit. Gatsby. I have not. Uh, that's, um, I don't know, it just isn't interesting, I guess. Are we, are we ready to begin? We are ready to begin. This I'm is going to be a new map, by the way. It's the Haunted Level. How do I? What do I click? My name? Oh, Nothing. I think we're good. The second book is *The Prince* by Niccolo Machiavelli. Read it. The third book is *Band of Brothers* by Stephen Ambrose. I have read that. No, not read it, but it, is it the same? That the almost exactly series yeah. based on? Yeah. Almost exactly. Probably a book that Doug has read. Maybe *The Republic* by Plato. Yep. Golf with friends is not responding. Oh, came back. Uh, the wealth of nations by Adam Smith. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Call of the Wild by Jack London. Yes, loved it. I can't remember if I read that one or White Fang. Okay, so I gotta remember how to do this. Oh, that was not right. Oh, that's right. You push forward. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, forgot. I forgot how to do it. Right. Got a bogey. Okay, so what was the last book you said? The Republic? Ah! Let me get to the audio and turn that down. Yeah. Double bogey. Okay. Okay. So Theodore Roosevelt trilogy. See, I said that in the last uh, last show. I thought that would be. Oh. Was not ready to go off course there. Oh my. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I went through the hole. Um, 
Let's see, let me get this hole done. It's hard to click away from the game and then... Can you... Should I try to bring it up on my phone? Would that be helpful? No, let me do that. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, and I'm rolling back down the hill. You didn't make it? And you can do it, Ryan. I'm rolling back down the hill. And out <laughs> the door. I like the music. That is good. I turned I'm it worried off. it's copyright content. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ryan. You can uh, Ryan, the goal is to put it uh, in the hole. Mm -hmm. It's in the hole. Let's see. So the last one was Roosevelt Trilogy. The next book, 1984 by George Orwell. Which I believe Doug yep. Have and you read it, Ryan? Uh, yeah. The wallet. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I think I read it. I don't think I understood it. Hmm. I think it was too young. Brave New World same, by same thing. Aldous Huxley. I have not read that. And I have the last place short up. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. How'd that work out for you, that shot there? I was pretty good. Ooh. Oh, birdie. Oh, nice job, Mike. Somebody's been practicing. Roman Honor by Carlin Barton. What book? Roman Honor, The Fire in the Bones. No. Oh. The Fire in the Bones. Oh, you got to get on the table. Do we have to get on the table? I'm not. But it'd be easier to be on the table. Uh, have you Let's read Roman here. Honor, Doug? Good Lord. <laughs> the Lord. Doug's concentrating on the game. Nothing to do with this. It's a long hole. Alright, maybe I'll get some... You know, that's, what, that's, what, strokes back. that's what she said. <laughs> oh, I hope not. <laughs> okay, Roman Honor was the last one. Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. I have read that. Think I would like that? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a it's a mystery. It's like what North by Northwest is based on, I think. Hmm. Do I want to go over that? Yeah. Oh, didn't make it. <laughs> uh, Whoa! Slaughterhouse Five. Very good. All Vonnegut books. I I tried to read that. I think. I don't remember. Somebody made it up and over. That's the time travel book, isn't it? No. There's no time travel in that one. Par. What doesn't he have a book with time travel in it? Yeah. Which one is that? I'm not sure. I think it's Oh, you lucky, lucky. I still so got a double bogey. I'm uh, out of bounds. Maybe, maybe it does. I'm trying to remember, but uh, I don't think so. The, I mean, Slaughterhouse Five is all about the Bristol Fire Barn. Dresden Unconventional Fire novel that tells the tale of Billy Pilgrim, a fellow who becomes unstuck. From the boundaries of time okay. when he's abducted by aliens. But, but it's merely just a, I mean, that's just a vehicle in which it uses to tell about the Dresden fire bombings. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure. It's been a while, though. Take See if time. I can do I'm trying here. Hey, did I get it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, did you see that? Right off of it. Not a... Uh, oh. There we go. Uh, the Tied Brothers... 
The brothers Karmanovs? Karamanovs? Yeah. Not read what? it. <laughs> You've never read it? No, I'm guessing you don't want to get hit by the. It wasn't too bad. No, and uh, of course there's a. You can go out of bounds too if you go too far. Okay. Oh no, the cart! There's a ghost over there. Oh hey, yeah, you do go out of bounds. Oh, stop. Dang it. Collaborate and listen. So you haven't read that? While the book's plot centers on an aging, disinterested father and his three adult children, the substance found within goes much beyond that. Uh, the author finally, final and greatest novel, this book also involves spiritual and moral dramas. Uh, I'll read more once I make this shot. I think we should all buy the... the uh, one of the better golf games and play that. If the Jack Nicholas one would ever go on sale. Um, this is a really good golf game, Mike. I don't know what you're implying. Uh, the Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. I, I've never read a Hemingway book. Did he Me either. Him? Really, Doug? Nope. I'm kind of surprised to tell you. I feel like I should. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, hey. Oh, didn't make it. Um. What does the ghost do? Ugh, you bastard. Man. Oh. For whom the bells toll. Another... Hemingway book. Double bogey for me. The Swiss Family Robinson. Saw the movie. Uh, Doug, the point is to put the ball in the hole. On the road. I recommended that one last episode. Yeah. Uh, the Dharma Bums. Nope. It's another Car another Kerouac yeah. book. Um, the Iliad and the Odyssey. How, which one is which? Uh, I feel like that's a trick question. What do you mean? Okay, now. Are they two different stories? The Iliad and the Odyssey? Yeah, right? I believe so. Yes. So which is which? Um. One is. One is about like, um. So, Homer in the Odyssey is the one with like where he goes through all the different stuff and, and the sees all the trial. Yeah. And the Iliad is just the tell. Is the is like the sort of the the, the, the story of the um, of the battle, right? Doug. I know, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I try to remember which one because one of them's about. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> All the Greek names are running together in my head. The Iliad takes place during a few weeks of the final years of the Trojan War and right. details the heroic deeds of both Achilles and Hector, as well as a variety of other legends and stories. The Odyssey, a sequel of sorts, is about a great war... Uh, o how you pronounce it? Odysseus? Odysseus yeah. trying to get back home. Voyage home after the Trojan War. Right. Walden by Henry David Thoreau. Yeah, I have. I have not read all of that, but I have read some of that. That's kind of where I stand too. I probably read huh. most of it. I think I, maybe I've read it all. Lord of the Flies. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
Oh, you have to make it down the stairs. If you don't make it down the stairs, you start over. All right, Lord of the Flood. Atlas shrugged. Nope. Douglas. Yeah, I, think I got it. Down. Probably way out of my league right now. Damn, for, man. Yeah, I think it's too philosophical for me to really enjoy. Don't worry, it's like. Books. What the hell? It's like I got. I've got to really connect with the characters to really enjoy the books. Like. No. I don't know what it is about. I have no idea how you get up. <laughs> so, did you really connect with George and with mice and men? I kind of. <laughs> I was joking, I, but okay. I mean, at the end of that, it was that's a really sad ending. Well, yeah, I agree. I mean, oh, I'm out. Of I strips. felt bad for him. Yeah, but you don't. How did you, how got, did you, you get got, across there? You gotta bounce it on that glass. I mean, George wasn't a bad guy. Well, what, Mike? Did you, are you sure you read the book? Yeah. Well, how? George, George is a bad guy. I mean, he, how, killed, he killed a kid. Hold on. Did I miss a part? <laughs> <laughs> when they're talking about what he did to the bunny and stuff, I always thought that was a metaphor of what he did to the kid. That's Lenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have my guys mixed up. Yeah, okay. Lenny's Lenny is the slow fellow. Yeah. Okay. So no. Lenny doesn't kill a kid. He kills he kills the wife of the guy. Right. But no, George is his friend. Right, right. George is like... Are, are, they, are they related? No, they're is not related, brother? but... No, they're not related. They are um, like kid friends, and like his aunt ended up taking him in or something. That's right. And, uh... But no. Yeah, Lenny... Lenny is the big dude that breaks that dude's hand and... Uh, right. And... Uh, kills his wife. It, on accident. Well, just because you it, don't know doesn't mean it's. It was still it, it. It was an accident. You wouldn't call that. An, I mean, yeah, he should go to jail for doing it or some sort of mental institution. But I mean, it was an accident. He didn't mean to kill her. He didn't kill her like it wasn't like first degree murder. Okay. What else is on the list, Mike? <laughs> um Well get my phone unlocked. There we go. And I'm never gonna make it on this shot. Uh the Boy Scout handbook. I would agree. Hey, that's where I bounced. I bounced off that book. Dang. The Anarchist Cookbook. That might be on here. We'll see. Um, Into Thin Air. That's the Mount Everest book, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, it's oh, scary. oh. Yeah, I mean, really, like, if you if if you've read that book. The amount of torture and turmoil that, that these guys put their bodies through every time they go up there. And I just can't imagine if it's gone more than once. Bounce it off the belly of the yak. You need to give it more power. More power makes me bounce out. Uh, I power. bounced off the boot. Yeah. Whoa. Close. This is kind of like a fun carazan. <laughs> 
Oh, you, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the next book, King Solomon Mines, by H. Ryder Haggard. Okay. Fictional adventure. Alan Quartermain is drafted in the search and rescue party that leads to the great unknown of unexplored Africa. What way are we supposed to go? Over the monkey? Or... Who threw the monkey? Oh. Coming over there by you. I think we want to go through the mouth. Oh, I tried. Yep. Oh. Oh, I hit it too. Oh, far. man. Dang it. What, did you play out on me, Ryan? No, I just I tried. Oh my back gosh! Up I tried backing up. Thought maybe if I had more of a run up. I got it. Got it. Nice. Okay, a river runs through it. Love it. For lots of reasons. The autobiography of Malcolm X. Never read it. The Count of Monte Cristo. Cool. All Quiet on the Western Front. Yep, that's good. It's my favorite war imagery ever that they basically stole for, uh, what's that other Brad Pitt movie? With the brothers. Legends of the Fall? Yeah. Which which movie? That's a good movie. Yeah, that scene that scene where the where, where Elliot from E.T. gets shot up. That's he wrong. Gets, he gets, gets stuck in the, in the barbed uh, wire. Yeah, that's, that's like, that, that's, that's probably rough. all quiet on the Western Front. Really? Um, Pride and Prejudice? And Zombies. Nope. Doug's favorite book here. You know what it is, Doug? In touch with the female body? Uh, Lord of the Rings? No. It's not going to be an actual favorite book, Doug. It's going to be uh, like the, the communist manifesto. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I, I, I think this rates probably in your books, the art of war. Yeah, I've read it. But it's on war by Klaus Lewis. Oh. oh. Am I gonna get? Oh, I bounced back in. <laughs> Are you guys both done? Yeah. There we go. Um, Lives by Plutarch. No idea. By Plutarch. Plutarch. I have ten not famous read. lives. Oh, thought I'd go more power than that. Oh, yeah. The Bible. Mm, I haven't heard of that one. Which which Bible? My Bible, the Bible? Your Bible? Lonesome Dove by Larry McCurdy. I guess you just gotta go full power, huh? Yep. Oh, Bogey. oh par. Lucky. After Virtue. You and I did the same thing. Yours went in, mine did not. Mm hmm. The Maltese Falcon? Yeah. Never read it. Didn't know it was a book. It's a detective novel. Is that Agatha Christie? Um. Nope. Dash. Dash Rendar. Hermit? Yes, Dash Rendar. Nope. Need a little bit more juice than that. Dang it. You gotta like hit it kind of crooked, don't you? Yeah. Oh. Well, oh, then we gotta bounce off another jar? Are you kidding me? Oh. 
Oh, oh. Oh, I jumped it. Oh, damn it! Stupid. <laughs> to kill a mockingbird, as we talked about on here. Yeah. The killer angels. <laughs> that's that's really good. It's a it's a uh, it's a civil war. Civil war. Historical novel of four days of the battles of Gettysburg. 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 Yeah. It's what the movie Gettysburg I think was based on. The autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, I managed to ramp up the strokes on that one. The history by Herodotus. 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 Oh, oh. Bounce in. Good job. Where am I going here? Is the webbing? Are we going up the webbing? You gotta go try to get through it. You gotta hit it really hard. Okay, got through it. Um, from here to eternity. Nope, haven't read it. That's a man. Am I gonna get? Oh, that's uh, written by uh, B. Lightyear. James Jones. That's funny. Buzz Doug. Lightyear. That's funny. that was that's really good. That's, the, I wish the, I would have thought of that. That's actually uh, the Thin Red Line. Terrible movie. Terrible movie. <laughs> 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 I'm guessing I'm out of bounds. Yep. I don't know where I went. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this course. <laughs> I went through the weapon. I didn't think that was possible. Bogey. Mm. And I have, I'm really not sure what's supposed to be happening here. Zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance. <laughs> guys read that one? No. But I'd like to own a motorcycle someday. The Long Goodbye by Raymond Chandler. Okay, you gotta hit it up and then it's gonna scoop into the other side. It's gonna go to the right. Oh, that's my work. No. to go towards the right. It's going to catch yeah, the web Yeah, it, it kind of curves around. There you go. Yeah. You oh, shot it oh you went over it. <laughs> More there into it. There there, no, yeah, yep, and there you perfect. go. Now you want to turn around. Yeah, now you want to go back on the other T. Self-Reliance and Other Essays by Wa Ralph Waldo Emerson. Oh, hey, look. That was really good. The Master and Oops. Margarita. I oh, can go either way on this one. That's what she said. Oh, out of bounds? Yep. Ooh, I made it. I'm gonna go this way this time. Oh my. Swordsman? Is that a book? No. There's baby swordsmen. Why are they babies? I don't know, it's kind of creepy. Maybe that's why they're babies. Double oh. boogie. Oh, don't fall! Oh, too much, too much. Nice. No! Ugh. Where'd you get 
way up top. <laughs> Who's going to win? I am. Let's see. The Road by Carmack McCarthy. Yeah, you have read that before, right? I have. That's good. My favorite books. It's easy to have a small list of favorite books. All right, let's do another course. Back to the forest? Sure, to the forest. To the forest. Steppenwolf? Classic. I, I don't know about that, but I love the song. The Probably Book the of band. Deeds. Of The Book of Deeds of Arms and Chivalry. No. Don Quixote? It. I think I maybe did start it. Hmm. The Invisible Man. This one, this course looks a little crisper. Yeah, it's a little more well developed. <laughs> I don't. I like how our balls are. The contrast against each one. Ooh. Oh, hole in one. Yeah, I got mine before oh. you, though. <laughs> Huckleberry Finn. So, I, that is go. interesting to me that they put Huckleberry Finn rather than Tom Sawyer. Well, Tom Sawyer still might be on here. But I, I, you know, if you hear about Huckleberry Finn, I mean, if you hear about him, Huckleberry Finn's the one that you feel. I feel like you always hear about. Except for the white fence part from Tom Sawyer. Yeah. Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes. I've, I attempted. Nico, Nico Machian ethics. By Aristotle. Yeah. I got a hole in one, by the way. Car. Uh, hole in one. That's nice. Cran Crano de Biriac by Edward. Cyrano de Bergiac. De Bergiac. Bergiac. Uh, ow. Par. Par. The Last Lion Trilogy. Oh. Gotta make that jump, don't you? Gotta make that jump, jump, jump. Yep. No. Crap. Oh, shoot. Hmm. There's a creepy, like, gingerbread man with an axe off to the right. Where? He's along that river. It's kind of weird. Oh, come on. Uh, if you're spectating Mikey right now, you can't see him. There's a rock and a tree in the way. But uh, don't hit your ball right away at the next hole. We'll see. See if we can see him. No, we're up in the air now. No, yeah, he's... He's still that way, though. Par. Did you guys hear the last book, the la the last lion trilogy? I don't know what that is. It's about um, 
William Manchester. No, that's the writer. Uh, Churchill, Spencer, and Winston. The Naked and the Dead. <laughs> you bastard. Is that a Churchill line? I don't understand. Oh. Don't throw me off of the thing. Massage my lead. Oh, like I can't move once it's on this. It's gonna throw you off, Mike. Hit it now. It's gonna. Oh. It, um, you can't hit it while it's moving. You can't. Mm -mm. Oh. 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 Still trying to see that gingerbread man with the axe. Mm. Oh, good shot. Uh, let's see. This Boy's Life by Tobias Wolf. Oh. Is that uh, one of the movies? Is that. One of the movies that like, Hugh Grant remade? No, that's A Boy's Life. Hatchet! Oh, that's a great book. It's one of my favorite books. Ah, Rob. Oh. But that's like a fifth grade reading level, too, by the way. Have you ever read The Hatchet before? I think in fifth the grade. Hatchet. Yeah. What about Resilience by Eric Gretchen? The re what is it? Resilience? No. It's about a Navy SEAL, I think. I'm surprised there aren't more books like, I don't know. John Grisham or something like that on there. Tom Tarzan, Clark. Tarzan of the Apes. Really? Really, what? I'm surprised that that's what they think men are into. Oh, that was a good move. Oh, dang it. That's a bad hole for me so far. Did we turn it off where we can't hit each other? Yeah. We should turn that back on. I, I didn't turn off anything. Well, it, by de default it's off. If you don't do oh, anything. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Um, next book. Thus Spoke Zer Zarathustra by Frederick no, Nietzsche. The Federalist Papers. I have read that. <laughs> Thus Spoke Zarathustra, which uh, was also the theme song for 2001 Space Odyssey. Yeah. The Spack, the Spake Zarathustra. Birdie! Birdie! The Godfather, Mario Puzo? No. Moby Dick. Yep. I'm pretty sure that you had to read that in, like, uh, school, didn't you? No. Uh, no, but I did. I mean, I have read it.
eagle. What? Oh, bitches. <laughs> okay. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Yep. Yep. Did have to read that in school. Hamlet. Yep. Think you had to read that too. Yeah, I love that. Whoa, Ooh. whoa, whoa. Nice and easy, Ryan. Nice and uh, easy. That was a frustration. Oh. Didn't make it uphill. Come back with you. Yeah. Just a par, just a par. Coming back. <laughs> so Hamlet, either of you? Hamlet? Yeah, yeah, yeah we both have. Uh, my, it's, that's actually my favorite piece of Shakespeare when he talks about... Um, uh, let me see. Uh, when the bell tolls, get thine to bed. Uh, do not fetch thy master a... Uh, I mean, I can't remember what it all is, but the the scene where he basically is telling the, the servants he's going to go ahead and do the deed and kill the rest of them. Oh! oh, oh. Um, and then, uh, the imagery that was painted when he's talking about how he's, he's, he's waded into the middle of a river of blood and to get out of trouble... Is will get him just as bloody as what it does to to follow through with the plan. It's one of my favorite little images. That idea that you're already. Covered in blood. Hmm. Have you read it, Mike? Mm -mm. I probably parts of it, but oh, this one. Here you go, a tale of two cities. No. Um, which which do you like better, Doug? The Tale of Two City or Great Expectations? Or have you read? I've never made it through either one of those. Really? No. Tale of Two Cities is not. I, I like Great Expectations better than Tale of Two Cities. Go. Oh, Ryan's gonna get picked up. No, it's I mean it's Doug. Oh. I'm already in. Par. Revolutionary Road by Richard Yates. Congratulations, Doug. Our scores were much lower this game. <laughs> yes. This this course was a little more polished. The Divine Comedy? I uh, never read it. The Boys of Summer by Roger You read Kahn. the Divine Comedy, haven't you? Mm, In Inferno. I don't, I don't think I read it, no. Let's I do the other course, too. Basically. There's only three courses, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. There should be one other no, course. there's the Egyptian four. Course. Twilight. You want a G Oasis or Twilight? I'd rather do Oasis. A Separate Piece by John Knowles. <laughs> I have not read that. I don't even know what it is. 
Uh, set at a boys prep school at the eve of World War II, a separate piece centers on friendship of Phineas and Jean. Cider House back. Rules it hasn't been on the list yet, has it? Mm. The Stranger by Albert Camus. That's like a Camus. that's like a picture book, isn't it? Perhaps the most popular piece of 20th century ex existential, no, just existential literature. Frenchman Marisolt attends his mother's funeral and through a series of events becomes drawn into a senseless murder. Uh, another one of his books that's weird is uh, Metamorphosis. If you haven't read that, that's a very disturbing book. It's about a kid who basically transforms into an insect and his parents end up killing him, his family, because they don't really know what to do with him, so they just kill him. That's pretty creepy. Well, let that be a lesson to your kids to don't live like don't insects. Don't Robinson like Caruso. Yep. I'm on Friday. Yeah. Oh, one. I ain't got enough to get over the hoop. Me neither. Par. Hole in two. Come on, Ryan. It's all up to you. You gotta make See this. See that ball turning. My ball's still moving, so I can't. Oh. 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 Too hard. Oh. I'm ready for seven, golf this year. The seven habits of highly successful people. Overrated. Steve, Stephen Covey? Who who stole my cheese? Yeah, who moved my cheese? No, who, who stole the book too? How uh, full is, how full is your bucket? Oh, uh, we uh we use that at work. Are you a bucket filler mic or a bucket dipper? I think I'm a filler. I like to fill the bucket. That's gross. With other people's tears. Oh my god. Birdie. Canary Road. Canary Row, I'm sorry. That's a Steinbeck book. Mm -hmm. No matter his class <gasps> or situation in life, a man needs a healthy appreciation for simple folk who help make the world go round. Unbelievable. Book depicts a cross section of this community located on a strip of sardine canneries in the late Depression era. Unbelievable. Treasure Island. Yeah, there's your Jules Verne, Doug. Oh my god. That's Robert Louis Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson. Oh, that's right. That's, that's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I know. The Confederacy of Dunces Never heard by of John it. Kennedy Toole. Well, I I know John Kennedy, sir. I think you are you know no. John, you are no John Kennedy. Whoa. Are we wanting to hit that hard? That's what she said. So we're rewatching The Office, you know, and we just got to the point where Michael left. And they're trying to choose a new boss. Yeah. It's it's weird when he leaves. Like the show takes a weird turn. It feels a bit more forced, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially the people they brought in. It was like a big supposed to be like a kind of a secret on who they were gonna replace yeah. him with and then We're well we're already past that where Will Farrell comes in and Takes over. I am not gonna make this. Will Farrell. Will Farrell was in the office. Yeah. He didn't last very long, right? He was only like three or four episodes. Oh. He was the boss, and. Really. Yeah, and I think the ratings weren't really good, so they cut him out real quick. There we go. 
Wait, where am I going? I want to hit it really hard across. Are you, are you joking? No, that's what I did. I'm out of strokes. Oh. <laughs> What's well, 12 is the max, right? Yeah. I thought it was 14. Make it on 12. It is 14. It's 14. Um, Okay, so Native Son by Richard Wright. What about The uh, Great Railway Bazaar? Oh, man. I'm surprised there's not more Carmack McCarthy on there. Well, I don't know how far we are. There's no numbers on these. Are you kidding me? Where am I going? Where am I going? Right in, in the hole. hole. It's in the hole. The last of the Mohicans. Oh, yeah. Nope. That's a pretty low level book. That's like. Pierce Brosnan was great grade. in that movie. Who? Pierce Brosnan was great in that movie. Is that a joke or meme I'm not aware of? Whoa. <laughs> um, Guess we gotta hit one of them. Oh, uh, this is the one where you gotta hit. Pole like just right. Yep. Hmm. That's a problem. Oh, nope. It's not the back pole. Well, I've hit all three poles. I don't have any idea. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! No fair! Got it. Grapes of Wrath, John Steinbeck. Education of a Wandering Man by Louis Lamar. Les Miserables. Nope. Saw the movie, didn't read the book. Man Searching for Meaning by Victor Frankel. Cow. Frank with an L on the end of it. Not gonna Frankel. find it no dang book, if you know what I'm saying, my fellas. Huh? How, huh? how about a book? I did read I have read this book. It's Frankel. Okay. By S. E. Hinton. The Outsiders. Too much. Just enough. Zach Brannigan. Just enough. Just enough. Yeah. Boogie. Yeah. Lee. Boogie. Lee Lee My favorite part of a woman is the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> the mind is willing, but the body is. What is it? I can't remember. Snooze me. The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. Yeah, we had to read that in school. Yeah, I yeah. reading it too. 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Nope, never read that. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, that's why. I'm like, why did I go flying off of there? Make sure you're hitting that straight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that stroke will cost you. Gates of Fire by Stephen Pressfield. Paradise Lost by John Milton. That's good. Um. What's the what's the movie, what's the one that? Um, <laughs> Why did we all go up here? Heart of Darkness has that been on the list yet? Uh, no. Joseph Conrad. Oh. 
Par. Ah, ah, ah. Why you guys took the long way around? Well, you took the long way home. So what book are we up to? Hey, just, uh, hey look, there's a guy on the back of the Sphinx. See him standing there? Yeah. Is, is he as creepy as the gingerbread man with the axe? I think he is a gingerbread man. Yeah, he's a gingerbread man. Fahrenheit 451? Yep. Bradbury. Mm-hmm. I thought that was Isaac Asimov. No, nope. That's iRobot. Was it? Oil by Upton Sinclair. Didn't he do Jungle? The Jungle? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they look, they put in little a little uh, raft around your ball. That's how I like my ball. How'd you jump up there? I don't know. He's lying. He knows he just want, doesn't want to tell us. <laughs> I'm down 10 strokes. I don't have to tell you nothing. I didn't even make up any ground on this hole. Oh, me and Doug are tied. I need to be careful. Oh! Hmm? <laughs> you wanna go more than that? Ooh, yeah. Not that much. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh. See you suckers later. All right. Fear and Trembling by Soren Kierkegaard. I've read part of it. I've not read it all. The Code of Man by Waller Newell. Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Hey, I just called that. Meditation by Marcus Aurelius. Yeah. Like the, the Roman guy? Yeah. The Hobbit. <laughs> you, you knew Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> That's pretty oh, hey. good there. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was crap. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. It's going to do it again. Dang it. Line me up, line me up. Oh. Oh, in the sand. <sighs> Got him by two two strokes. You with the old breed by Eugene Sledge. Not enough. I said I met him. I didn't say I knew him. Glad you got that reference. 
I said you did good, Doug. I said it was a good good job. It sounded like Russell Crowe. Oh. No, don't. Oh, okay. Get up there. Get up there. Yeah. Bogey. I watched, there's a, um, there's a documentary, like a three or four part documentary on Netflix about Rome. It's all yeah. about sort of that time period and how, what's Yeah, it was calm. It's like a, yeah. seems kind of like it's like, like a actual series. Right. And like communist isn't so bad, kind of like he just really was dealt like a really raw deal. Um. Now, like, I, I thought, I was like, well, that sounds interesting. Maybe I could start showing that in class. I'm glad I watched it before I turned it on. Yeah. Because, um... You uh, probably would have got fired. Probably would have. Oh, I'm taking a big lead. At least I would have had some exp... I'd have had some explaining to do. Uh, have you guys seen Split yet, by the way? Mm-mm. What's that? The new, it's a new newer movie. No, I heard it's supposed to be good, and there's like supposed to be some really good ending to it or something. Ah, oh, dang it! Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't oversell the ending. I won't. Spoil I fear it to be anything. something like the girls he's got. It's actually she's one of his personalities trying to escape. Oh yeah, this is that. Yeah, that, that's the, what that's what I thought it was. But really, that wasn't it. That was the new Shyamalan movie. Yeah, I, I will say if nothing else, watching Professor Xavier act is is the best part of the whole thing because he does a really good job. Okay, so but um, whoa. <laughs> Too hard. Oh, too hard. I'm recording. I'll spoil it for you. Get up. No. Oh. Oh. (laughs) That was a great jump. Double bogey. So self control, it's king king kingship and majesty. And that's it. Uh, that's awful. That's the whole list. Wow. There's a lot of books on there that I didn't know anything about. So close. Don't want to do that either. Oh. Dang it. There we go. (laughs) Oh, oh, come on. Really? Keep it up. Just like that, Mike. Just like that. About 14 more times. Come on, Mike. There you go. Just like that. Don't pick the like lead. That. Oh. <laughs> That's really too bad. That's Marvel. too bad. Okay. Oops. That's. I 
have no idea where we're supposed to go. Down towards the bottom. Oh. Oh. Shit. Par for me, but it will make no difference. Oh. Chimpanzee bogey. That's the last hole, isn't it? Yes. yes. And I hope you've enjoyed listening to the book list. Got it. Um, Mikey won one, Doug won one, I won one. We all we're all tied at one. So we'll have to do the rubber match. Uh, and just uh, and we'll have to put it on YouTube. Is what's going to have to happen? Okay. Okay, but we're going to wrap up this episode of the podcast, I'm guessing. Do you guys want to keep going or you want to? I mean, if we have to play one more, we can do the night, the whole. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching the podcast. This has been episode 132. Uh, Leave us some feedback. Tell us what you thought. Uh, What was the book that you would be most interested in reading? Uh, So the next logical step for the book list is for us to pick a book, read it, and talk about it. So what's our book club book going to be? I'm reading The Catcher in the Rye right now, so I'm not going to step away from it. <laughs> so if you guys want to read Catcher in the Rye again... Keep him away from the president. What's that? Oh, you keep him away from the president? Absolutely. Um, it wasn't the president. It was John Lennon. You can follow me. At, no, the guy uh, who assassinated... Tried to assassinate Reagan. Did had the it same thing. No, he didn't have it. No. Yeah, he did. Google it. He did. Didn't you watch Conspiracy Theory? Come on, Mike. Mel Gibson's best roles since Signs? Until Signs? Uh, you can follow me at Buffalo Cast. You can follow the show at Bobcast Nation. Follow Doug at Refried Evil. And follow Mikey at FooMan2. Two, two O's, two N's, and the number two. You can follow the whole show on Facebook.com slash Buffalo Brotherhood. And give this YouTube channel right now a subscribe and a like. And you can turn a little bell thing on you'll get notifications tell us when we post new stuff we've been posting new videos every day during the month of january and we'll continue to do so through the month of february you're right you're welcome uh thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time